Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today I want to discuss a topic which unfortunately is very close to my heart right now, and that is CS item scammers and more specifically API scammers. Now before I explain the new API scam method, let me quickly explain what an API scam is for those of you who are not in the know on this. But feel free to skip ahead if you already know what it is. An API key is a key for a script or program to gain access to part of your Steam account. It can then direct trades to the right person when buying skins or trading website. It does this without accessing your password, so your account is not at risk necessarily. But when this API key falls into the wrong hands, for example by poor cybersecurity from skin trading websites or just fake scam sites you get sent in your DMs, it can be very dangerous for you when you're trading skins. So never log in to so-called trading sites people send you in your DMs. Just a heads up. Now, when the scammer has your API key, they can see when you actually sell something on a trading website. What they will do is then quickly cancel the legitimate trade and send a new trade from another account for the same item. So they hope you might still accept the trade, thinking it is the leg legitimate trade from before. Because even though they have your API key, they still need you to accept the trade on your mobile phone. So always be wary when you're doing this. Now, that's how API scams work in general. But then what is new? Because this has been around forever, right? Well, Valve recently made it so that if you change your name on Steam, you can't trade with anyone for two hours. This makes it a lot harder for API scammers to emulate a real trade, since they can't copy the name of the real buyer anymore. However, now they found a new loophole. They will change their profile picture to still be the same as the legitimate buyer, but they just keep their name as a blank. And apparently, many people still fall for it, as did my close friend, unfortunately, who got scammed for Paracord Vanilla Knife, and Draken a CSGO pro who just got API scammed by a nameless scammer as well for a flip knife sapphire. Even though you're not getting these knives back, let's hope that at least the scammers get banned before they are able to cash out. Now, in my opinion, Valve should just add profile picture change as well to incur another two hours trade ban, but also items that were in recently canceled trades to make them untradeable for like five, maybe 10 minutes. I know this would inconvenience many people, yet I think it would kill these scams once and for all because well, you have to be really dumb to fall for it. Like if this trade's gone for five to 10 minutes and then accept it when it's a different guy with a different profile picture, it doesn't make sense anymore, right? But as we do not have those measures, always check the name of the person you're trading with as well as their account age and their Steam level. Those are things that cannot be faked. So stay safe out there and I will see you in the next.